in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30, it says there that Jesus said that you're either for me or you're against me. Those who are for me or those who are against me. And he tells us in another place in Revelation chapter 3 that he wishes we were cold or hot, but because we're lukewarm, he'll spew us out of our mouths. And then in another place in Matthew, he says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but you don't do what I say? Now, this isn't supposed to be a condemning message to you today. Just a word of advice, a word of counsel, a word that I've always followed myself, and I pray that it'll help you as well. We cannot find, try and work out why things don't seem to work out the way we want them to. Maybe our prayer seems to be delayed. The answer to our prayer seems to be delayed. Maybe things don't seem to be going the way they should do. Well, we have to understand this. We must be sold out to Jesus with our hearts. It's no good saying that we're believers in Jesus, we follow Jesus and we'll do whatever it takes. And then the time comes when we get invited to a party or our friends want us to go and do things of the flesh that we used to do before we were born again. There comes a time when we have to make a stand for Jesus. And we have to be consistent in that stand. We have to persist in that stand. We have to be sold out for Jesus. We have to be for Him and not against Him. You see, if there's any one area in our life that we hold back from Jesus, if there's one area in our life that we go back to the old ways in, we become a stumbling block to what He wants to do in our lives. Thank God for His grace that gets us through. But there's a difference in making mistakes, taking a step backward or falling down. You see, it's not falling down that's a problem, it's what you do when you've fallen down. You've got to get back up, you've got to brush the dust off your feet. But that's when you make mistakes, that's when things occur. And God's grace is sufficient for us in those times. But there's times when we deliberately do things and we know that it's not of God. We know it's contrary to what Jesus is trying to do in our lives. So today, I just want to say to you, give Jesus your whole heart, be obedient. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you all the time. You know in your heart when you're doing the wrong thing and when you're doing the right thing. Reach out to God. Take an hold of his hand, keep hold of his hand, and never let it go. Until the next time, God bless.